So we we wanted to get the URL and print that out. And so that's really easy. It's just a property. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can say rec.url.request URI. And that would give you it. I think it's also on the request itself. You can look at that. somewhere. Uh, yeah, there it is. So we could do that too. Um, but pretty much the same idea. So the URL is like the parsed version that breaks it up into pieces. And this is like the thing the user sent in. Um, the unmodified request URI. So let's rerun that. Make sure it works. So it's whatever I pass in. OK, so that means that we can start building pages. So how do we build a page? We just switch on the path. So, so if I do cat and dog, I can just send to the response cat and for dog I can do dog and okay so let's try that so it says cat if I go to slash cat and it says dog if I go to slash dog the important thing to keep in mind here there is no correspondence to this URL and anything on the computer it's not a file of path, it's whatever you want it to mean. The definition, the meaning of slash cat is in the code, right? So I made it so that I go to slash cat and it returns cat. And I made it so it goes slash dog and it returns dog. These aren't files on my computer. They're just whatever I want it to mean. Um, and so yeah. the routing <coughs> is completely defined by me, okay? Uh, so we could, you know, do anything. If, I could say if it starts with the letter C, do something. Or, I mean, if it contains the word cat, go somewhere. I mean, you could do, you don't even have to switch on the whole path, right? I mean, let me show you how you can do that, right? So if I said, if strings.contains uh, the request.path, the url.path, um, cat, then we'll write cat to the Otherwise, we'll, um, we'll write dog, okay? So now I have a very bizarre uh, routing strategy, but I just want to show you that you can do this. Okay. So now, if it has dog in the URL and cat, then that works the same way as before. But now, if I have cat anywhere in the URL, so I say dog slash cat, I get cat. If I say this dash cat dash, you know, is a dog or something, then it still goes to cat. If cat's anywhere, in fact, if I say slash catalog, you know, I still get cat. I always get cat because it has cat in the word, right? Uh, and so that would be a very strange way of building a web page. Nobody in the right mind would use that strategy for their routing, but you could. Uh, it's up to you to define the meaning of the URLs. So they're not files on your computer. They could be. You could do that if you wanted, but you don't have to. They could be anything you want to do. So everybody understand that? So routing in this case is the same context as we talked about in Angular and other things where you route content to certain parts of the page. Yeah. Right? So the idea is that routing is um, I have the URL and I can say this is the URL that I want to connect with. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I have multiple parts of my page and I want to connect them via URLs. And routing is a concept we make up. It's a, an idea that we make up. So I have this branch of the code and that branch of the code. So, uh, so writing routing like this would be tedious. Okay, if you had to do this every time, imagine you're on a big site with hundreds of URLs, a giant switch statement. Uh, that would be not ideal. So, 
the HDB library has a special thing called a serve mux, M-U-X. Uh, so let's go look at that. That will help us. Uh, serve mux. So serve mux is an HTTP request multiplexer. Mm -hmm. Sounds really fancy. So it matches the URL of each incoming request against a list of registered patterns and calls the handler for the pattern that closely matches the URL. So if you go to, it describes the rules. So if I had, had this is the path slash favicon.ico, it would then call the handler I gave it. Um, so let me show you how that works. So I can make a serve mux. Um, is a, well, well, we'll do it down here. Because then it's to you. So I'll say sm is colon equal http dot, and uh, I think it's new serve mux. Yeah, new serve mux. So that creates it, and then it has all these methods, handle and handle func. Uh, so it has an example of handle, right? And so you say mux dot handle, and you give it a URL, path, and then it goes to that handler for that path. So um, I could say sm dot handle and for slash dog, I could maybe go up here, change my handler to dog handler. It's a dog handler. <laughs> uh, and then write string res and then dog. And then I could make a cat handler, if there is such a thing, <laughs> uh, and make it write cat. So now I have two, two handlers, okay? <coughs> and I can make dog go to the dog handler. Um, so let's make. And make a cat handler. So now I just get that dog and uh, make it cat. And then I pass, instead of passing the H we had, I pass the server mux, okay? I'll just rename it mux, because that's easier. Um, mux. Uh, and so the idea here is now, these are both handlers, like we saw before. Same exact method, serve HTTP. But now what we've done is we've passed them to the mux, okay? The multiplexer. And what he does is, based on the path of the URL, he'll call the different handlers. So if the URL contains, it starts with a slash dog, then it'll go to the dog handler. And if it starts with a slash cat, it'll go to the cat handler. Okay. And so let's see if that works. Oh no. Catalog doesn't work because it's no longer. There. So cat goes to slash cat, and dog goes to slash dog. Now I made it so that it ends in a slash. If it ends in a slash, see that? That means match it and anything underneath it. Can you copy this code up, please? Good eye, Steve. Um, and so, so if it ends in a slash, that means it's that and anything underneath it. So if it starts with slash dog, it's going to go to, so, you know, I can go to slash dog slash bow wow or something. Um, and it's still going to go to the dog handler. Okay? So it's routing based on the path of the URL. Uh, so this is a more flexible way. This is better than doing a giant switch scene. Um, because now anything under dog would match. I don't have to do like if strings has prefix and have this huge list. Uh, and the other idea is that what if I always wanted to serve dog? Take away the slash. Well, that wouldn't do. That only does it if, it, if it, the URL is slash dog. Yeah, so no other URLs. Uh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I just, instead of mux, I just pass dog. Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's a handler. So mux is a handler, and dog and cat are handlers. Mux is a handler of handlers. Mm -hmm. okay? So it routes based on the path to other handlers. It's handlers all the way down, right? That's the idea. Um, so we use our mux to do our routing.
So if you want to define routes, you can use server, the server box. Uh, the next example problem, create an HTTP server which returns an HTML page with a picture of a cat for cat and a picture of a dog for dog using a server box. So you can use this as the basis of doing that. Does everybody understand how to make an HTML page with a picture of a cat in it? I, I will help you with that part. No, no, no we're good. No. If, if you don't know how to do that, just leave now. <laughs> I'll, I'll draw that line. Uh, I just want to mention. Or the, quietly ask me for help. The uh, the cat photo does not have to come from your computer. You can just right. use an image on the internet and use that URL from the internet. Okay. How do we get on the internet? It's the E. 